Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 3, Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston. The problem says that it is known that the connecting rod AB exerts on the crank BC 500 pound force directed down and to the left along the center line of AB. Determine the moment of the force about C. So this AB connecting rod, this AB connecting rod applies the force on this uh, crank of magnitude 500 pound and that force is directed along the center line of this AB. So we are asked to determine the moment of the force about point C. So now we can solve this problem in two different ways. Either we can consider the point of application of the force at B or either we can consider the point of application of the force at A. So we will solve this by using uh, two different points, by considering the force acting at A or by considering the force acting at B. So let's say that the force is acting at A first, right? So the force of magnitude 500 pound force is acting at A and and that force in the problem, the problem says that that force is acting along the center line of this AB. So the force is acting along the center line of AB here and the force is acting along the center line of AB here. So first we are going to consider the force at A. So let me draw the force at A and the force is acting along AB and this force has a magnitude of 500 pounds. So in order to find uh, the moment of this 500 pound force about that point C, we need to resolve this force into its components. So we need to find, um, in order to find the components of this force, one component will be like this and one component will be like this. And we need to find this angle, right? Since this force is acting along uh, this AB. So if we find this angle, then we will be able to have that angle here as well. So this angle and this angle, they are equal since both of these angles are vertical angles. So let's find the, this angle. Let's say that this angle is theta. So let's say this angle is theta. So we can find this angle theta by using these dimensions. We are given these three dimensions. So we can say if I draw a line like this and if I draw a line like this, we can consider this right angle triangle. We can consider this right angle triangle. And by using this right angle triangle, we can apply tan theta. So tan theta will be equal to this perpendicular which is 1.68 divided by the base so this is the base so if this is the right angle triangle then this is the perpendicular this is the base this is the hypotenuse so the base is this 3.52 plus 2.24 so 3.52 plus 2.24 and taking the 10 inverse we will be we will be able to find this angle so theta is equal to 10 inverse of 1.68 divided by 3.52 plus 2.24 so this is so this gives us theta equals to 16.260 degrees so now we know this angle theta so we know this angle theta and if I draw a or if let's say if I extend this line like this so if if this angle is theta then this angle is theta as well so we can say that this angle is theta as well and now we can resolve this 500 pound force into its component so we will have one component in this direction and we will have one component in this direction now since the angle is made with the vertical component then this one is the cost component and this one is the sine component so we can say that this component is 500 cos of that theta which is 16.260 and this one is the sine component so 500 sine of 16.260 so now we need to find uh, the moment about point c the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so now as we can see that this vertical component is passing through that point C. So 
the moment arm of this component from that point C is zero, so it's not going to produce the moment about point C. So only this component is producing the moment about point C, and this is producing the moment in the counterclockwise direction. So we can say that the sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So this will be plus, and that will be 500 sine of 16.260 multiply by the moment arm which is the perpendicular distance of this component from that point c which is this ac distance so ac distance is this 3.52 so we will multiply this with 3.52 so this will give us the moment of that 500 pound force which is acting at a about point c so 500 sine of 16.26 multiply by 3.52 so this gives us 493 or we can say this is 492.794 pound inches since the force is in pounds and the dimensions are given in inches so the unit will be in pound inches so this is the first way when the force is acting at point a when we are considering that the force is acting about point a now if the force is acting about point B, so we are going to consider the same force, the same 500 pound force is acting at point B along the center line of AB and it will have those the, those same components, right? We will have that same uh, sine component here. This is 500 sine of 16.26 and we will have that same vertical component here so this one is 500 cos of 16.26 and this is this force is 500 uh, pounds and we are having that same angle theta here because the orientation of the force remains the same just the point of application is different so in in the in this diagram we were considering the force is acting at a and now in this diagram the force is acting at b with the same orientation so if it is Having the same orientation, it will have that same angle theta with the vertical. So we are having that same angle theta here. So the components will remain the same. Now we are going to find the moment about point C again. So the moment about point C, counterclockwise mo moment is considered positive. So now as we can see that uh, this component is producing um, the clockwise moment. And this one is producing the counterclockwise moment. So the cost component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So we will write plus 500 cos of 16.26. And the moment arm of this component from that point C is the perpendicular distance from point B to C. So this distance. So the perpendicular distance of this component from that point C is this distance, which is 1.68. So this is the moment arm. So 1.68 inches. And similarly, this component is producing the clockwise moment. So, we will write minus 500 sine of 16.26 multiplied by the moment arm, which is the perpendicular distance of this component from that point C. So, this distance, which is 2.24. So, multiply with 2.24. So, let's find this. So 500 cos of 500 cos of 16.26 multiplied by 1.68 this gives us plus 806.400 minus 500 sine of 16.26 multiplied by 2.24 this gives us 313.596 so 806.400 minus 313.596 this gives us the same moment of 492 approximately right 492 point 492 plus 492.804 so this is so this is 492.794 which is approximately 492.8 and this is 492.804 pound inches so this means that uh, we can consider in order to find the moment we can consider this force 
at any point along the line of application right since this force of uh, this 500 pound force is acting along this ab line so we can consider the force and its components at any point along the line of action along its line of action right and the force will have the same effect along its line of action so if we are considering the force somewhere here along the line of action it will have that same moment right and if we are considering the force here it will have that same moment about that point c so i hope <clears throat> this will help this discussion will help you in finding the moment about point c let me know in the comments if this helps do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnstone